Every kid wants to play at Finley Prep and have that opportunity to play at a premier program like this. We have one team. We have one team, that's it. We don't have a tennis team, we don't have a volleyball team. We have one team. For us, it's a way of life. I mean, that's all we have. What are you talking about? Beat him there, beat him! Yo, get up, get up. Here's the game, get it. You shouldn't be at time. We're the one that everybody's chasing, and that's where all the pros go. This is the only sport we got, basketball. This is what we do. We're built for this. If you want maximum exposure, this is definitely a place to be. We're gonna, we're gonna shock the world. Purple three, one, two, three! Yeah, yeah. Let's go, baby. This is the Finley house. This is the house of me, PJ Washington, Spencer Washington, Chris Giles, and Jack Swites live. But they keep record of the wins and losses on 2K and stuff like that. As you see, mine is empty on the wins and losses column. But PJ has the most, let's see, these, he has the most dubs and the least amount of losses. I mean, I haven't done the dishes, obviously, but this right here, I'll get down with this. My name is Justin Roberts, um, 2017 senior guard. Look up now with an add-on. PJ, Washington, position four. I'm about to make some breakfast. Hey, make me something too. PJ, he's a really goofy guy. You wouldn't think that looking at him, not only is he a division one athlete, he's an all-American. It is tough. I'm um, nine straight months of you know being a father to twelve adolescent males. is is not easy. What's up? He is done. Playing 2K. You have the other house already? Mm -hmm. Man, where would they go? They cooked. Bacon. I need to move out, man. I need to go over there. My name is Donnie Tillman. I am 17 years old. I go to Finley Prep. I'm a small fort. Creighton, Cal, Xavier. Yeah. Um, yeah, they sent me a lot of letters. Memphis. And this is just from the past week. If you don't cook, I'm not going to pass you the ball no more. Out cuz my job on the team is a rebound, put the ball in the room, and play defense. Okay? Yeah. I'm a senior and I've been in three years, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. You really got yeah. offers, bro. Yeah, you you're right. me, I get I, a duck out, get offers, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm hurt right now. Don't talk to talk look, talk to your roommate. He's the, one of the best scorers in the country. It was really surprising to see just the 12 players and nobody else. I mean, the high school is just us. I thought it was going to be a, like a huge campus and all this type of stuff, but it's actually just a small school. And I was very confused when it said Henderson International and all that. We don't have females or any like other students. It's just us 12, so it's like a brotherhood. I mean, we don't really talk to anybody that's outside of Finley. Finley, I've always said, you've got to see it to believe it. I and mean, it's nothing like any school you've ever been to. Get your head up, son. That little moping shit, I'm, I'm tired of it. Stop with all that. Because I don't stop the dribbling. I don't feel sorry for you. I really don't. How old are you? 18 years old. You really should know the plays by now. Everybody else do. Why don't you? First day of conditioning, I thought I was, I wanted to come home. I wanted to go back home. When I first got here, it was way harder than I expected getting beat up every day in practice. It just made me tougher. That's how we are here at Finley. We, you know, we don't take losing life. Beat him there, beat him, beat him. Hi, I'm Paul Washington, senior, uh, head basketball coach at Finley Prep. 
since we've lost three out of the last four games, kind of showing the kids uh, game time situation where we could have made some better decisions. The games we lost, we lost to number one team, La Lamere. We lost to Mount Bird, number two, and Sierra Cannon, which is number one on another pole or five on another pole. So it's not like it's a bad loss, and we got some injuries, but I just don't want to keep sliding. It is six o'clock at night. We got our practice a couple days before the Bishop Gorman game. Probably the biggest game in, in the state of Nevada. So we're trying to get prepared for that game. Now I'm finding him sealing. All right, I'm finding him to seal. I'm not just turning around looking because then he's going to come by me. I'm finding him to seal. And then when he bounced it to me, I got it. You got to seal. You listen to what I just said, Adore? What I just say? How I say seal? Uh huh. Uh huh. What's the key thing I said though? What I have to do? What does he have to do to seal? He has to go find the guy. He has to go. He had to stand there. You got to go find him. You got to go find him. All right, let's go. They get it when I said we have to start off quarters better than what we're starting off right now. I mean, we just got to have more fight. I guess that's really what I'm saying. We got to have more fight on defense. Right now we have none. We get to a zone, we feel like oh. We chilling. We chilling on the zone. Everybody chill. I see you like this. Today we focused a little bit on uh, playing against the zone. We know we're gonna see a lot of zone come Saturday. In my four years, this game is huge. You know, it's uh, people in Vegas only know Finley and Gorman. We're gonna press them. They're gonna turn it over. We're gonna dunk. We're gonna get excited. All right, let's go get in. Finley on three. Finley on six. One, two, three. Finley. Four, five, six. Finley. Coach, he always tells us. We're playing against regular high schools. This is what we, we're a prep school. We feel like we're more of a, a concentrated basketball school. But you didn't come here um, to be an engineer. You know, you, you don't go to Finley to be a doctor. Let's go, get some water. The biggest storyline I'd say, and everyone, you know, talks about is that Finley's not a real school. You know, our guys just, you know, are freelance. They do what they want. What would you say to someone I would say come spend 24 hours in, our, in their shoes, and then you'll see. Go sit in the classroom with them. People think people just come to prep school just because like, they don't do anything in the uh, classroom. We just come in here and just play basketball all day. There are a lot of fly-by-night programs that's not accredited, that you know can, can open up with a bag of money and say, hey, come here, an AAU program, and now let's go play a national schedule. So I get it. When you haven't had anybody graduate, when, when you have the NCAA come in and say, they don't even know who these kids are when they go ask the teachers. Never even heard of a kid. It's crazy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't send my kid to some of these schools. All the people that say things have never been here. And if you ask those who have, they'll tell you this place is, is, is different. But you have to look at the ones that's been around a while. Like we've been here 10 years. Look at Oak Hill, look at us, look at Mount Bird. They're not fly-by-night programs. We are part of the NIA. So our kids are, you know, under you know Nevada state regulations for you know high schools. Um, they have a Nevada diploma once they graduate from here. You're not gonna play with a D. You're gonna sit out until you get the D up. You know things like that. They all in our head about that every day. You know, make sure Donnie you go to class. Make sure you get your homework done. This and that. One of the things that we do so we don't have to trust kids because they're still kids is that we monitor them and we schedule everything for them. Uh, and, and the thing that we schedule is. Uh, classes, they have their classes scheduled, they have their study hall schedule, they have basketball practice schedule, they have workout schedule. Um, so we try to schedule that day up for them so uh, we don't put it in their hands. I'm heading to chemistry. Um, this is, I think, the third class of the day, and uh, we have Miss Bassa. She's wicked smart. She's, she teaches like three or four classes in high school. Math and science is really interesting to me. It's not boring at all, so it just, you know, keeps my attention. Uh, I'll be with you in a second. What you're trying to do here is to measure the boiling point of water. So let's see how close you get to the real one. Watching water boil isn't, you know, the most exciting thing 
to do in chemistry, but you know, you gotta do it for that grade. So you know, you just gotta do it. What What is it now? Think about what could. Can I ask Siri? <laughs> I'm gonna ask Siri. <laughs> Justin Roberts, the point guard at Finley Prep, yes, has. Uh, proven science wrong, and I am doing that right now, as, as you can see, as it is boiling and it's not at 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, definitely, uh, boys are very unique group. Um, I find them to uh, be highly interested in experiments. They love it. Now, your homework will be oh, why, oh, why, oh, why the temperature boiled at 91, not 100. Why? Why? Those guys are tripping today. <laughs> Honestly, I think we have the toughest schedule in the country. You gotta learn the out of bounds spot right there. Playing against a lot of guys that actually went Division One on, on national television. So I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not. It's, it's not for everybody. But I mean, it will get you ready. Every year you're gonna be in the top five in the country. Not a lot of high schools would say that. They're gonna have one of the toughest schedules in the country. Play everybody, give you a chance to compete and show the college what you got. And you can go to any college in America from here. We got people from Calipari to Roy Williams to Coach K at Duke. All of them been through here. Like they all know Finley Prep. If you want maximum exposure, this is definitely the place to be. You're not open, oh, DJ. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. He knows he's a guard. We got like sixteen players in the NBA, so like NBA coaches call our teachers and ask them about us, so everybody's just used to the process around here. A lot of kids these days like this type of style. I mean, it's very appealing to a lot of those high-level kids that are out there. We're going to get out, we're going to try and get every last one of them. The grass is real green. The grass is pretty. It's like turf, almost. <laughs> Philly prep on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Let's go. This is a huge game. I just said this is a must win. Probably the biggest game in, in the state of Nevada. Even Snoop Dogg, he tweeted it, it's about to go down. Oh, 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 oh. 